Mr. Jackson, thank you for the introduction on that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is all new to me right here, but what, what I care about is, is veterans, and I've been working with veterans for over 20 years as a volunteer uh, person, just to, as an advocate to help them file claims and stuff. In 2002, I retired, and I be seeing a lot of Gulf War guys coming back. A lot of guys got problems, got issues, they can't deal with them. And we founded Veterans Corner in 2004 to be a guide and an advocacy for those men and women coming home. Since we've started that, we've processed over 20,000 veterans. We've had veterans that come from Seattle, uh, New York. They'll tra travel to Oklahoma and to receive the benefits that we are able to provide. When we file a claim for a person who comes in there, on Thursday mornings, I've, we've got 40 to 60 volunteers, and almost all of these vet these volunteers are widows of veterans that we've helped, or they're veterans themselves. They uh, they see what's going on. They were helped, and in turn, they want to help us. We're a 5013C nonprofit. Everything that comes in goes out. We don't. Nobody's paid on our staff, but we're we're there to help veterans. And and the way we do that, when we, when the folks come into our door on Thursday morning. We've got two guys at the front door right there just taking names, signing sheets. We're pretty well organized. Everybody in our place has got a job. If they're, if they're a first-time veteran, we've got about 20 people that's going to sit there and write claims up for those folks. And the claims process with the VA, there's nothing wrong with that thing if you do your homework. If you use this right here, this is CFR 38. It's Code of Federal Regulations, Volume 38, part 0 to 17. This thing's online, or you can obtain it from the government printing office. It's the VA's Bible. Any, this, anything that's wrong with you is in this book. What the rating's supposed to be, it's in the book. This thing will keep you out of trouble. We use this every day. Uh, but when the new folks come in right there, we, we put them in the group that they belong to. If it's a widow, we have seven ladies that actually run the widow section. Uh, I used to do that myself, and Time. They, the ladies get through crying, well, I'd be crying, so we just, we moved that on out, and then the ladies take care of it, they do their hugs, and and we we process 10 or 12 of those each week on Thursday morning. Those ladies that's coming in, they either qualify for DIC, which is means the serviceman died from a service-connected disability, or one that would be presumptive. The widow's pensions, if the husband served during a period of war, she, if she's down and out, don't have no money, VA is going to help her out a little bit. We hit, we fill out all those papers. When, when a person walks in our door, they don't have to worry about nothing. When, when they walk out, everything's been done for them. The only thing they do is sign their name. And our counselors are trained to know what to look for, know the questions to ask. We had a, we, once a year, Oklahoma has a school put on by the Oklahoma Department of Veterans Affairs. This year, we took 33 of our counselors up there. And three-day training, that doesn't sound like much, but we go back to, our, back to our base, and we'll have meetings down there. At, we use the Goldsby Community Center. They've offered that to us. And uh, actually, on another thought, we're being inducted into the Oklahoma Military Hall of Fame next Friday for the services that we've done for Oklahoma veterans. And I'm, I'm really excited about that. It's, I'm just I'm going almost... Be, I feel so humble when we're going in there and, and they're honoring the Medal of Honor winners, lots of stuff going on. I feel really excited on that. But uh, <clears throat> I know I'm not a public speaker. One thing I do is help veterans. And I, tr I try to do a good job at that right there. But when the, when the folks come in back the third time I've said that, we put them out in different places. After all the claims are worked, we've got five of our most experienced writers sitting over there and everybody checks out through them. These guys go through everything, that's, every piece of paper that's been filled out, check it, recheck it, dot the I's, cross the T's, make sure it's right. The, there's, in, if, on the Vietnam guys, for instance, there's 14 presumptive diseases. People don't know about that stuff. Uh, if you come in there and you've got diabetes type 2, you've got prostate cancer, you've got this, they don't know that that's automatic. If you fill out those papers and file it, VA's going to give it to you. They send you to a contractor, QTC. They check it. Yeah, you've got diabetes. Well, let's give him $700 a month. Let's give him $900 a month. But it's all right there, and it's easy to do. A 100% veteran is about $2,700 a month. 
these new guys coming in from Afghanistan and Iraq, I've had them fly in from California, from San Diego, and we'll do their papers right there. These guys, they're, they just don't know what's going on. There's lots of organizations. If you, if you were going to go down to, if you went downtown Massachusetts, go to Boston, you want to file a claim, you walk in the office, chances are they've got one or two people sitting there, and they're probably been around the block a long time, and a lot of times they'll hand you your papers, take these home and fill them out. Well, the guys that we do, they can't fill them papers out. If you don't do it for them, it's not going to get done. We've had guys that I do personally have one guy that came back from Iraq, went up to the VA hospital, one of those little Nettle National Guard guys, went up to the VA hospital, went in there, hey, I want to file some claims for, for PTSD, and the guys give him 35 pages to go home and fill out. He got home, he looked at those pages, and he committed suicide. There's, th these stories are rampant. And what's the reason we want to be a one-stop shop? When you walk in, we want to take care of you. We want you to be happy. And another thing on this, on this PTSD and stuff, these guys walking the street, I've got a, a contract or, or a commitment with the Oklahoma County District Attorney's Office, Oklahoma County uh, Public Defenders. They bring the guys that's not real bad, but they, they've been in a little bit of trouble. We bring those out on the Thursdays. We work eight or ten of those a week. And, of course, like I say, everything we do is free. We don't, there's no charges for anybody. We do have a, we are 5013C, and we operate strictly off of people's donations. We bought a 24-foot trailer that we use to transport. We have to transport all of our copy machines, all of our computers, our IT equipment, back and forth, set it up every Thursday morning. Uh, we bought a 2008 Chevrolet van that we got a dedicated driver for that transports the disabled veterans to and from their VA appointments. This guy's been doing that for three years and never missed a day and is the happiest he's ever been. But you find a job and somebody's going to like it. You get them in there and get them going. And we're, that's, I think that's pretty well all I'm going to say.